Hello and welcome to Pavli. In this video, we are going to see how you can send real SEM SMS notification to your users just by entering their details in your Google Sheet. Yes, that's right. We are going to completely automate a process in such a way that you enter the details of a user in your Google Sheet and immediately an SMS notification will be sent on their number. So we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform using which we are going to connect Google Sheet with the SMS sending platforms like Twilio, SMS Horizon, Build to SMS, or any other platform of your choice which you like. So without any further delay, let's begin. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free signup link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. After reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to Twilio. So I will be using Twilio as a SMS sending platform to send SMSs to my users. But instead of Twilio, you can use other platform as well according to your choice, according to your preference. So after naming our workflow, here in select folder from this drop down, select the folder of your Pavli Connect account in which you want to create this automation. So I'm selecting home and then just click on create. After clicking on create, here you can see a workflow is open in front of us. Now in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is using this Pavli Connect workflow, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect in such a way that whenever a new row of data is added in our Google Sheet, immediately that same row of data, that same newly added data will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It is going to get started. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send those Google Sheet details to Twilio. And here in Twilio, using Twilio, we are going to send the SMS notification to the user whose details we have added in our Google Sheets. So let's see how it is done. To start with our trigger window, here in Choose app, we will search for Google Sheets and then just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, here in Trigger Event from the drop down we are going to select new or updated spreadsheet row because we want to get the data of the new row or updated row which we are adding in our Google Sheet. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect. And to add this webhook URL, to connect Google Sheet with Pavli Connect using this webhook URL, we have to basically follow the instructions given below over here. We will just copy this webhook URL from here and after copying it, we will go to your Google Sheet. Now after reaching to your Google Sheet, here you can see this section of extensions. Just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pavli Connect webhooks. Here you can see Pavli Connect webhooks. This add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You just have to install the same add-on into your own Google Sheets account and after installing this add-on, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. After refreshing your Google Sheets, once again we'll go to extensions and then you can see Pavli Connect webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and go to initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, this box will appear in front of us. And here it is basically asking us two different things. First one is the webhook URL and second one is the trigger column. Now here in webhook URL, we have to enter the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So the trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. Now we have to select the column, the last column of our Google Sheet as a trigger column because as we are going to enter some data in the trigger column, then automatically the data of that complete row will be sent to Pavli Connect. So it is going to basically trigger this sending of data process. So that's why we have to select trigger column as the last column of our Google Sheets. Now here in the background, you can see column D is going to be my trigger column because this is the last column in which my data exists. 
So here in trigger column, I'm going to select column D over here. After entering our trigger column in Webhook URL, it was asking us for the selected sheet that in your Google spreadsheet, it is most likely possible that you might be having multiple sheets over here. Then from which sheet you want to send the data to Pavli Connect, you have to select that. Right now in my Google spreadsheet, I have only one sheet as sheet one. That's why by default, it has selected sheet one. So after selecting the sheet, adding the webhook and selecting trigger column, just click on send data. Now when we click on send data, you will see the data of the very first row is sent. So it, here it is showing us test data sent successfully. This means the data of the first row after the headers, means the data of row number two is been sent to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. So let's check it. We will go to a public connect workflow. We will just scroll down and yes, here in this trigger step, you can see we have received some response and in this response, you can see the exact same details. Here you can see the name of the same spreadsheet. Here you can see the name of the sheet. We have the mobile number, last name, first name and email address as well. We have the exact same details of the user, which we have just now added in our Google Sheets. So this means the connection between Google Sheet and public connect is working perfectly fine. Now we will just click on the submit button and after clicking on submit, it is showing us set up configured successfully. Now we just have to go one more step further. We will go to extensions, public connect webhooks and we have to select this send on event option. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheets, we are telling this add on that whenever the data of a new row is added in this Google Sheet, instantly send that data to public connect. So send on event means instantly sending the data as the new data is added. And we have the completed the step one of setting up this automation. So here after successfully connecting our Google Sheet with Public Connect and getting the new row of data in our Public Connect workflow, we will move to step two, where we are going to connect our Twilio account with Public Connect. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action window, and here in Choose app, we will search for Twilio. Just select it. After selecting Twilio, here an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as send SMS message. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Twilio account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the account SID and authorization token of our Twilio account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this account SID and authorization token. So to get it, we will just go to our Twilio account and at this home page, we will just scroll down. And here you can see the account SID and the authorization token. Just copy the account SID from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And once again, over here. After that, copy the auth token from here and then paste it over here as well. After entering these details from our Twilio account, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our Twilio account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks is, is the body of the SMS. That what will be the body of the SMS which you want to send. Let's say I want to send a message as hello. And after hello, I want to mention the post name of the person of the user to whom we are sending this SMS. Basically the post name of the person whose data, whose details we have added in my Google Sheets. So what we are going to do, we are just going to map the response over here. We will be using a process of mapping to add the response, the details which we have received from Google Sheet in the Twilio step. So here in trigger window responses, we have received the first name of the user, which we have entered in our Google Sheet. So we are going to map this response of first name in the Twilio action step. In this way, whatever first name we will be entering in our Google Sheet while adding the new row of data, with the same name, we will be sending the SMS to the user. In this way, we can make our SMS more personalized. So here in body of SMS, after hello, we will just click here. And from this drop down here, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets in the trigger step. So we are just going to select the response of first name and it will be mapped. Then I want my message to be And then here I want to mention the email address of the user which we have entered in our Google Sheets. So here what we are going to do, once again, we'll use the process of mapping. We will just click here from the drop down from Google Sheet responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped. And I just want to end my message. So this is a simple message which I want to send to my users. Hello demo means the post name of the person to whom we are sending the SMS, whose details we have added in our Google Sheets. Welcome to Pavli, 
one of our team members will get back to you shortly. Till then, you can check out the product brochure sent to you and we have the email address of the user which we have entered in our Google Sheets, as you can see over here. So after creating the SMS of your choice and entering the details which we have received from Google Sheet, in the next step, it is asking us for the sender number. Now here in sender number, we have to enter the mobile number of our Twilio account. So we'll get back to our Twilio account and from my Twilio phone number, just copy this number from here and then paste it over here. So this sender number is my Twilio phone number we have to enter. And at last, it is asking us for the recipient number. That what is the mobile number of the recipient to whom we want to send the SMS message. So here in the recipient number, we have to map the response of mobile number received from Google Sheets. So here from Google Sheet responses, once again, we will use the process of mapping and map this response as well. Now the help text over here says, enter the correct number of the recipient example this. And in example, you will notice we have to enter the mobile number with the plus sign and the country code. But here in the mobile number which we have entered in our Google Sheet, we have the country code over here, but the plus sign is missing. So we will just manually add the plus sign in front of it. In this way, whenever a new mobile number will be added or mapped over here, then automatically the plus sign will be already here as the static value. After creating the SMS of your choice and entering the sender's number and recipient number, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, we will see we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the SMS which we have created over here, this SMS is now sent to the same user whose details we have added in our Google Sheets. So let's check the SMS inbox of this user. And yes, here you can see we have successfully received the SMS on the same person's mobile number which says hello demo means we have the name of the same person whose details we have the same name which we have added in Google Sheet. Then the message says welcome to Pavli. One of our team members will get back to you shortly. Till then you can check out our product brochure sent on your email address and we have the same email address which we have entered in our Google Sheet while adding the new row of data. This means the automation workflow, the connection between Google Sheet and Twilio we have created using Pavli Connect. This automation is working perfectly fine using Pavli Connect. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. We will go to Google Sheet and we are going to enter the details of another user. This time the name of the person is test user, as you can see. And we are going to enter this email address over here. This is the email address. And now we are going to enter the mobile number as well. So just now in my Google Sheet, we have entered the details of a new user as a new row. And we will see as we enter this new details, instantly within few seconds, the SMS notification, the same SMS which we have created in Twilio step, the same SMS notification will be sent. And in this SMS, as you can see, we have the name of the person. Like after hello, we have test written over here means the same post name which we have entered in our Google Sheet. Also, the email address of the user is the same email address which we have entered in our Google Sheet over here. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now, if you want to set up this kind of similar automation in your Pavli Connect account, you will get the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account. And not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. In this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this kind of automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.